In November, I spent about two weeks in Herevianok in the high Tatras mountains of Slovakia, working on an ice temple with a bunch of other chainsaw carvers. My friend Maros invited me to go climbing in the high Tatras. So in the high Tatras mountains, at some point, at a certain elevation, the roads stop and it's all footpaths the rest of the way. So you can't drive your car to the top. You have to stop, park it, and walk the rest of the way in. So I think the last place you could really take a car, and I think you even had to have a permit to get there, was Herebianok. And then beyond that, there was still three and a half hours to the top. So I got invited to take a day off of work, which I felt bad because I didn't really want to miss any more days in the temple, but I also didn't want to miss seeing the mountain and having that experience. And I'm so happy that I did it. Hey. Really brief. <laughs> Apparently, this is still the easy part. There are different cabins along the way called Kata or Hati, which is like chalet or like a, an inn that you can go sit down, have a drink, have some food, spend the night if you want to. So there are all these travelers walking up the mountain and stopping at these different cabins. We got to Zemskeho Kata. We had a glass of beer, a shot of Borovička. Borovička is a Slovakian gin, something like gin, if you've got gin from hell. Fucking Borovička. It's the gin from hell. Anyway, I stole this bottle before I left. Sorry, Adam. But uh, everyone was still asleep and it was on the table and I was on my way to Texas and no one could stop me. Oof. It's very intense. It smells like a pine tree. So, with that said, Nasrovia. Oof. <sighs> It'll warm you up. And we moved on for another couple of hours baby steps as the air got thinner and thinner and the, the path got steeper and steeper and less path-like. And just more rock-like. Past waterfalls. And some of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Fell in love with mountains, I love it. And the high Tatras are just gorgeous. And if you ever have the chance to spend some time there, do some tourism there, go skiing there, definitely do it. Where is it? Can you point to the hotel? Oh, that's not as bad as that. Yeah, we're, we are going to the left this way and then all, all the way here. And we are almost there. We're leaving the beaten path. It's been a little bit harder. So as Maros and I were making our way up to Terreo Hata at the top, we ran into Filip Lusek and Marek Bedna on the way back down. They had hiked in the evening in the dark to the top and were hiking back. And so when we ran into them on the path, we sat down, had a little chat, and they showed me a video of the Kamzik, the mountain goat, uh, it was a Kamzik mountain goat that they had discovered on the path and I'm going to include it in this video. I didn't get to see it, but it was seen by the group of friends, so it counts. And that's what they look like. We are here. That seems like a lot of steps before we're actually here. All right. Oh my god, that was intense. I think it was the first time I've ever climbed a mountain. Uh, we're about to get some beers, try to recover, and then we'll head back down again. Finally, we made it up to Terrio Kata and sat down, had some bean soup, 
had some beer. <laughs> had another shot of Borovichka for our health and uh, turned around and came back down the mountainside. 65. 65 kilos? Yeah. Wow. Where are you taking it? Terio Hut. At the top? Yeah. Whoa. I was the happiest that I've been for the entire time I was in Slovakia. I don't know if it was just the project or if it was my friends or just the beautiful, beautiful mountainous scenery and the air, I don't know. But it was pure joy to be there. And I really miss it and I cannot wait to go back. Subscribe now.